What is going on guys, this is Ben here, bringing another Yu-Gi-Oh! video today. We are once again going to be showing off some incredible rare cards. Today it is going to be the rarest Blue Eyes card. So, if you guys missed where I opened up this crazy collection and seeing all the conditions, the rarest Dark Magician Girl, MFC first, definitely check out that video. That was really, really crazy. It was one of the best collections I think I've ever purchased because a lot of it went up in value Like by the time I actually ended up opening it, so insane! But this one is all about blue eyes today, and then after we're gonna open up some of these uh, Savage Strike packs that I have here. So we have four of them here, so maybe we can get Phantasmi. So, first and foremost, it is going to be a very cool blue eyes that I'm gonna be showing you here. This one is the rarest one. So, first, let's look at this one. So, this one is BPT003. So, the thing that makes this one interesting is you may see it already if I go like this to you. Do you see? The foiling, maybe you can't, maybe you can. I don't know if the camera picks it up. Normally, secret rares go this way. This foiling goes this way, the other direction. So that is a really, really awesome thing about this card. So I think you can see it better that way. So it has that reverse foil on it. And this one is in like perfect condition out of the tin. So even the back of the card is in really really good condition which is amazing so I may end up sending this one in to get graded I don't know but the reverse foil very hard to find um, I don't know if it's the misprint or if that was just like the first run printing of this I've seen different stuff on eBay so I don't know but that's the first blue eyes this one just incredibly cool uh, you can let me know which artwork you like better just pure artwork but now this is the rarest card here so let's just get this one out here oh. This one is the DDS Blue Eyes. You probably already saw me open up a different one, but that one was in bad condition. This one is in like, perfect. I might even send this one to get graded too because this is in incredible condition. You just look at it, the corners, perfect. The whole card, front side, perfect. The back. Here's another thing. Perfect except for one little tiny spot right there. You see that? That's the only defect on this card. Other than that, it is clean. It is perfect. And that foil, man, that prismatic secret rare just looks so amazing. So DDS Blue Eyes, they, they range anywhere from the price always fluctuating like Lightly played is probably around like five, six hundred. Near mints can go anywhere from like six hundred to a thousand. Now, if they're graded, even more than that. So, this card right here in good condition is absolutely insane. Definitely, probably the rarest blue eyes in the card game. Which, because the the reason why is because this is a DDS, the DDS game that came out when we were all little kids. Kids didn't really, at that time, weren't really expecting um, this card game to obviously last 20 years or whatever. And to be able to hold on to these cards and be like, oh, I'm a five-year-old kid playing with my blue eyes here. In 20 years, it's going to be worth almost $1,000. I don't think you're th anyone was thinking that when they were a kid. So obviously, you just uh, put that put that rubber band around the, the stack of cards that you had, throw it in your pocket. Maybe they went through the wash because your mom didn't um, check your pockets or something. I don't know. So not... Like these cards are limited, like limited quality to begin with, with that game being printed. And then it's even worse because we were all a lot of people were kids, and no, these are so hard to make it out of there in good condition. So, one thing you have to be on the lookout though is for like these, um, the proxies ones that actually look very similar to them. So, be on the lookout for those. But this one is incredible condition, so so happy to have that in the condition, like the collection the rarest blue eyes and then we can just talk about like what is your favorite collection card that you have i guess i should put this one back in too so yeah these are my two blue eyes here got the rarest one so hard to find in good condition and just an awesome beautiful looking card now you guys know my collection is mainly like the hero stuff that i have um there's only like other like two or three other cards that i have like in sleeves outside of that that i really will like never probably get rid of for a long time so this is one of them just incredible to have and I think it's amazing. So let me know like one card that you have, like you probably won't ever get rid of. For me, it's like, first it's like the hero cards, like the ultimate rares and all those, just oh my God, absolutely love those. 
and then this falls close second dark magician and all that stuff so uh, now i'm gonna open all these up and let's get into this pack opening all right so here we go got them out of the blister packs hopefully maybe we get that hundred dollar phantasme have to wait and see on that don't know if we will but hey worth so time to three doer very good card and then just right off the start messed it up we got elemental hero cosmos neos guard dragon shield sub terror guru good card there so speaking of elemental heroes there are some in this one now i don't think like these elemental heroes maybe uh, i don't know elemental heroes maybe like way down the road they might ever become meta again i don't know but instead of like Really is only like recently the Dark Lot Turbo builds and everything, so I don't know. I'm talking about actual elemental heroes, so we'll see. But uh, let's see, if we get that secret. Mm. We got Neos Fusion and Hyper Psychic Riser. So another elemental hero. Let's see if we can maybe just get an ultra rare. Cause like pulling a a Phantasme probably very unlikely. Let's hey that that's the name of the game though. Prank kids, rock sky rock skis, Salaman Gray Pharaoh, Fateful Hour, and TG Screw Serpent. So maybe a Sunlight Wolf too. That'd be a good rare to get. Fusion of Fire. Any of those, but this pack was a little weird. But it like kind of opened. Okay, come on, be that secret, be that secret. Oh my god, hey, okay. Well, that's all we came for. Got our Sunlight Wolf. Best card <laughs> for Salaman Greats. All right, so yeah, the reason why this is crazy is this is a rare card. And it is worth like eight to nine to 10. It's fluctuating, but I think it's like 10 bucks, nine bucks, depending. But still very good, so we got the good rare. We didn't get any other good super we got all supers so but basically just think of this as maybe like an ultra rare a good ultra rare in the set because it's better than like this this is probably like better than i think this is like what is there there's phantasme pot of extravagance psychic wielder boral savage and then this card in value then witch's strike i think is around the same price too so those are the cards you're hoping to get um so hey got one we'll take it but thank you guys so much for watching subscribe for new to the channel let me know what you guys think about that dds blue eyes in good condition but thank you guys for watching subscribe and i'll see you guys later